And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Dragons. I'm excited to play this one. Dragons are a lot of fun to play. And this is the deck that I uh, I talked about at the end of the seasonal tournament, how I kind of wish I would have played a Demacia deck. This is the deck that I uh, wish I would have played. I think it's, it's really strong and it has a wonderful late game thanks to Eclipse Dragon and uh, with the Nightfall being able to create Celestials and Dragons. And also Enviolus Vox is really underrated, and that also gives us more random dragons. We have more random dragons with our Egghead Researcher. Um, and I love these fight spells. We're going with three single combat, two strafing strike, three concerted strike. I did play three strafing strike before in this deck, but we're going to go with just two to fit in a judgment um, because of like the metagame these days with like discard burn and fearsome, especially fearsome. Um, wanting to be able to have judgment to be able to strike them all down. We have Radiant Guardians in here to help us out against aggro with Radiant Guardians plus all of the uh, combat spells, getting that Nexus healing going on. Also going to try throwing in an Unyielding Spirit in here. Um, really good against uh, the Shadow Owls decks, and there's a ton of them with Go Hard and Anivia and Trundle Trindamir. Um, all those kind of Shadow Owls decks Unyielding Spirit is great against. Also great against just like Shen Fiora and... Um, Frostbite midrange. Like, it's good against those kind of decks, too. So, we're going to try uh, some Unyielding Spirit in here. <clears throat> but yeah, our deck our deck is uh, you know, going to be Fiora early. Now, sometimes we can win with Fiora, but not, not that often. Basically, Fiora is just like a good early card to control the battlefield and uh, have my opponents worry about the Fiora, and they spend cards to deal with this, but then, boom, then we have Shivana, Screeching Dragon, and our dragons take over while they're worried about my Fiora. Um, so that's that's our deck. It's a pretty cool one. Let's go and play some Fiora Dragons. We're gonna go play it on over in ranked, and uh, let's get some Ws. I'm I'm excited about this deck. All right, so we're starting with that Shen Fiora matchup. This would be a good Unyielding Spirit one. Okay, so Enviolus Vox is a cool card, but six mana. I think we're going to Mulligan it. Like Concerted Strike's awesome in this matchup. Maybe just keep it. It is awesome in this matchup. Okay, cool. Champions of fight spells. That's all we're gonna have the entire game. <laughs> Literally, all we're gonna have the entire game is champions of fight spells. We cannot have anything else. Oh my gosh. Water changes, but never. We literally can't have anything else. Finally, in Violus Vox, finally our first card that's not a champion or a fight spell. I walk the space between. Okay, I don't have to worry about repost. Let them eat so. Oh, so that's good. They could have sharp sight. Yep, that's the best thing they could have. So I'm just going to have to single combat this now. This will be quick. What form will the waters take? Ah. Alright, so that's uh, 10 damage of dragons for Shivana. My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. Okay. Enforced equilibrium. Okay. Do I really want, do I want to level up Shivana? I could like, I don't know, kill the Bright Steel Protector. Hmm. So I could go like Concerted Strike, have Shivana strike first, Fiora strike second, get one for the Fiora, and then level up Shivana. But I'm spending a Concerted Strike just to kill a Bright Steel Protector. That doesn't sound great. Uh, looks like they have a single combat. That's not good. Okay, so this card is single combat. Good. Glad they went on the 3-2. Uh, I guess I could go safe... I, I guess I should go the other way around, just in case they have a sharp sight. So I won't get a Fiora kill, but... Just in case they have a sharp sight. Me. 
I wonder if they were doing that thinking that I should have got a Fiora kill. And I wonder if they think that I messed up, but... Um, truth be told, I did not mess up. I did exactly what I wanted to do. Understood. All right, now the fury with the Shivana. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Close that thing. So now it's a six five. Six fives are good. Ooh, I like the sharp sight. Even if they have like a, a their own sharp sight, our Shivana would still create something, and we'd have a, a new Shivana anyway. So, all right, so seven. Let's go with. I'll put them down to one. basically have to have like life steal barrier and fight spell or repost and fight spell concerted oh double concerted strike well that doesn't work GG's man our deck is sweet We got, looks like a, an ephemeral deck, probably. I don't know. Concern Strike's still awesome. Maybe I don't play single comp. I don't know. I'm going to mulligan both of them. If they're playing, like, ephemeral things, like, maybe I don't need to, like, fight ephemeral things as much. Plus, we have a ton of fight spells anyway. Play Zed, and then I go Meteor Shower. And it's all set up perfectly. No, deny. Oh, I had it all set up perfectly. I got denied. As foretold. That's alright, we got Screeching Dragon. Yeah, I'm not sure if my opponent plays the Ghost Shark. I could, I could definitely see it. Not 100% sure. So basically, I like Mark of the Isles is like the pump spell that I'm kind of expecting. Um, where I guess, you know, like Twin Disciplines it won't really matter, but like Mark of the Isles it would matter if I challenge the Zed and they go Mark and then that kills my Dragon. Twin Discipline... Twin Disciplines with the plus three could kill the dragon either way. <laughs> Alright, so all their stuff has Ephemeral. So that means that they... Yeah, you know, we have, like, a Sharp Sight that can block Elusive Single Combat. It's gonna be good, too. I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. Do 
Lieutenant, have you brought a specimen from the field? We let you keep the egg. Be content with that. Which one do I want to use? Full speed ahead. I'm gonna use this. All their stuff has ephemeral anyway, so like if I just play Eclipse Dragon, they just play something that blocks Eclipse Dragon first anyway. It's basically they have to kill me this turn. I get one blocker. Ah, oh, that was that was the card they drew. I should have mulligan so the, all those fight spells. I should have mulliganed all those fight spells. All right, they didn't. They didn't have that last little bit of damage though. Whew, that was close. That was close. What was in their hand? Probably just a bunch more of like small, you know, non-elusive units. Because none of, you know, like those, you know, they couldn't, like they all, because of Encroaching Shadows, none of them could block. So I'm guessing that's what they had in hand. Yasuo Leona. So this is going to be a long game. Screeching Dragon's good. Do I want two Screeching Dragons, though? I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, I probably do, but maybe not in the opener. This is going to be a long game. I wouldn't mind drawing something that costs three or less mana to play a unit that costs three or less mana to play next turn. Follow the horizon. Any unit that costs three or less mana, please. Thank you. We wear red to honor the fallen. So you wear red to honor the fallen, except for on Wednesdays you wear pink. In shining sunlight. Judgment could be cool. The dawn has arrived. Carry her light across the mountain. No dragon fire only emboldens me. The fight just isn't the same without you, Anna. I am always here when you need me. So let's see. What do we... Yeah, let's play... Play the dragon or attack? Yeah, we play the dragon, right? I am Only have one sharp sight for protection right now. We will not suffer unbelief. They will not escape. Behold the divine power of the sun! So if I if I go sharp side on the dragon, it's a six seven. So Pale Cascade doesn't save Leona. Pale Cascade would kill my Shivana. Look lively, Sinja. I don't think I let it die. They can have a lot of other stuff, you know, like Hush and all sorts of other stuff. And I'm sure they're they're you know they're playing Yasuo, so I'm sure they're playing like Concussive Palms and. Steel Tempest and all that kind of stuff, but I don't want Pale Cascade to call it. I don't want that to kill Shivana. Okay. Okay. 
Game comment. Okay, got rid of it. Okay, got rid of that spam comment. All right, Leona's Morning Light. Well, let's try to kill Leona. This is me taking a bunch of damage. It's about to happen. 15. 15 is quite a bit. Puts me down to two. They would fall by my blade. Well, fifteen's quite a bit. Sunlight guiding my brethren. Ready weapons. Oh God. gonna be close. All right, one Fiora kill so far. The mountain knows me. I am the traveler. I don't really want to play Eclipse Dragon right now. Second kill for Fiora. <laughs> Too easy. The immortal fire. Oh no. Well, there goes my goes my Fiora. And it makes sense to do the one damage to the Eclipse Dragon because the Shivano is just going to turn back into a 4 4 anyway. Daylight breaks on the battlefield. I can't really stop that. The sun's splendor revealed. I am more than I see. You are unlike anything I've ever seen. Come back later. Let's try to have my Eclipse Dragon kill their Leona. That would level up Shivana. Nope. If I... so they're down to three cards. Okay. I'm just gonna let this happen and play the Stalking Group. Radiant Guardian can be useful. Go get him, Broodmother. This is good deck building. Stalking Broodmother with the uh, attack first with the scout. Levels of my Shivana. So now Shivana. Yeah, I guess that, that just happens. Yeah, I really like the new cards. Yeah, new new cards are, are definitely real fun. They they look really really fun, really interesting. So put them down to one. I could see them not blocking, but that's okay. The guilty were bad. So I could go like strafing strike. I could like let this happen. Have my Shivana have five health. Strafing strike Shivana kill Raven. 
and then that would let me play Radiant Guardian. How important is Radiant Guardian? I think that's the main question. It's probably not that important. It's like, what are they going to do? Kill me with like an elusive? Probably not. Yeah, and I guess that's true. I guess I couldn't kill my own unit there. I, I didn't really realize that. I've kind of forgot about like the, the Fury would have grown it anyway. So I'm I'm gonna have concerted strike, sharp sight, sharp sight, basically. Three cards. <clears throat> Alright, kill the Robin. We don't keep getting more Daybreak th abilities. Alright. Man, this is close. So I, I need to Concerted Strike the Robin. Because like if they have another Daybreak thing, I die. Or, but if I do that, then then if they have an elusive, I die. So I can't I can't stay alive from both of those things. So I guess I have to keep striking it. That was the worst card for me to see was Robin. Or they have that and I die. I guess I could have just gone gone with the judgment, I guess. Or no, I guess I couldn't have got Radiant Guardian play, could I? I definitely feel like I had the tools to win this game. I think I definitely feel like I messed up somewhere. That I could have won this game. Yep, yeah, especially, I'd, I'd already killed one Leona, and so if I would have just killed that Leona instead of playing this that other scout at the end of my turn before going to theirs, that's what I should have done. Because then, I was scared of another Leona, I was more, I don't know why I was more scared of another Leona more than another Robin. Why, yeah, why would I expect another Leona when I've already... That would have been the second one that would have died. The stink of blood and sweat. Let's get to it. <laughs> yeah, we wanted we did want single combat. Ask me about dragon. I just may have an answer. There's nothing to fear. I'm expecting them to have a go hard. Great hand. Turn one, Jagged Butcher. Turn two, Elise. Turn three, Deck Hand. Go hard. Great hand. Okay, maybe we draw a Shivana. Maybe we do. Well, must have some unique insight into dragons. Most are cruel, vicious, and deadly. If I kill you, I don't fart you. They are nothing. You got legs. Use them. Yeah, that was definitely feels good.
right, so I already used my sharp sight. That I, is my normal uh, get rid of that spray fin card. I do have. I do have the strafing strike, which will heal, you know, it'll heal the Shivana too. Time to get rich. So let's see. So strafing strike will do four damage to the spray fin. Go to eight. Come face me. Yeah, so Shivana ends up at two health. So it ends up where it doesn't die to go hard after this. Now possibly don't have go hard, but yeah, I think think we have that. And what is this? I guess you just block. Just have you save two life. A dragon's Oh, hey, welcome back, Michael. Okay, yeah, you had the, the Mystery deck. I did play that Mystery deck a few days ago, like last week sometime. Um, yep, yeah, there is the Go Hard. Okay, definitely need to attack immediately. Turn this thing into being three health. Who's that you got there? From the sky. Yeah, I, I think that trying to keep Shivana alive is the best thing I can do right now. That's number three. One more is a pack your bags. Good. Burn pack your bags. I could really use Radiant Guardian. How important is Nightfall? Should I go Daybreak and try to get these other dragons out here faster? Could go Dragon Guard Lieutenant and Vox and Strike. No, I'm one. Sh no, yeah, I, I have enough for all that. Alright, Radiant Guardian, where are you? I pull the strings. Wow, no attacks. I think that should probably be attack on their end. Never again will we fall to dragon fire. For silver I talk, for gold I feast them. This is outrage. Is it? Oh. Another lost. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about outvaluing them or like winning like a long game. I'm I'm worried about killing them before they find a couple of packer bags. Open. Because you have to, you know, start the whole go hard process over now. Or, you know, pack your bags plus, you know, like going wide. So that's just number one. Or is that zero? We gotta start that process over. It's not bad. But I would just want a Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian really helps me out. Be nothing left when I'm done. Radiant Guardian. I'll take Sharp Sight. That helps protect against Sprayfin. 
So that's three. Yeah, let that happen. This is our confidence. No, thank you. Wrong five, wrong five drop. Need Radiant Guardian. Yeah, so do I want to play around Ruination? That'd be the, the open attack play around Ruination or play these things to not play around Ruination. I don't think I'm that worried about Ruination. Yeah, there's a chance they have Ruination. If they do, oh well. Cool, get rid of Vengeance and pick a card. Those are both good to get rid of. A game. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. I suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you. All must die. Something the matter. Best run while you can. But if they don't have ruination, which you know looks like they didn't, this. You know, playing the Screeching Dragons helps kill some more things. Yeah, Victor Reveal looks awesome. Victor looks really cool. Radiant Guardian, where are you? The card I need. Like a fish in water. <laughs> I'm probably gonna need I don't know, sharp sight judgment. Alright, they did not attack into my judgment. Uh, no Radiant Guardian for me. So, I can lose that matchup, but that's basically the the way, you know, like, that's, that's the way that I lose it, how, exactly how that played out. We're only two and two, but I still think our deck is really, really good. I think that it's pretty unlucky losing that third one and um, the fourth one. I don't know. Maybe we need to mulligan more. All right, I'm keeping Shivana. What is Brom? Is this going to be Poros? I guess. What do I want against Poros? Let's keep a single combat and let's mulligan the other two. Fiora. Fiora eats up little Poros. That was a good play by them not attacking into the Judgment also, you know, especially how they knew they had the, the Ledros to be able to win the game the next turn. Because if they would have attacked into it, my Judgment would have killed their three things and would have made my Dragon 11 power and they were at 11. So I would have, um, you know, would have been able to just open attack and, and kill them if they would have, 
you know, if they would have attacked out with the three. That's what I was hoping, of course. May open up, you know, a fight spell kill with Fiora on the Braum potentially, because yeah, they would have had to use some kind of spell to keep the Braum alive, like a troll chant or something. Hmm. So I could single combat the one one, and that would keep Fiora alive at at one. Do I really care to have Fiora alive at one. No, that's probably not worth a single combat. I know we get closer to leveling up Shivana as well, but... That's alright. Doing this while Shivana's a 4-4. I, mean, I knew they had Trollche on their hands. I don't really know why I just did that, but it is easy, see? I knew they were going to be playing Troll Chan. Got the Troll Chan out of their hand. Bask in her radiant blessing. Let's show our friends the door. Ha! This is fun, yes? So because of them having another Braum with Take Heart, I'm gonna use Strafing Strike now. I don't wanna let damage happen and then Take Heart. There are none like me. Little Sinister Poro. That was created, of course, by the Lonely Poro. They don't have Shadow Isles in their deck. Man, Shivana. Leveled up Shivana is super scary. Yeah, that card is scary. Okay, that could be a give it all. Or Aurora Port. You know, because if it's Aurora Porealis, they just cast it. There's no reason they pass. So it's probably a give it all. Do not test me. And so then it's, you know, do I cast Meteor Shower or Strafing Strike? From the sky. I'm not going to play the other Egghead Researcher. Don't really need it to play. I'm going to save the two spell mana. Okay. Dragon go. Dragon and Shivana. Yeah, Shivana after the buff. Shivana is really strong. It's an underrated champion for sure still. Um, so yeah, I like, I like our deck. Maybe just like a little bit of overwhelm could help out against the against the go hard deck, but I'm not so sure. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I, I think I still you know I want to play that matchup some more, but I've I've had success in that matchup in the past. I am trying repost 
now as a way for like Fiora to kill larger things and stuff and stay alive. I know before I, I did have Chain Vest in for that matchup because Chain Vest is really good against all the, the go hards and the small little blockers. Then it also makes it more difficult for pack your bags to kill your thing. So I do I do like Chain Vest for that matchup, but I didn't really like Chain Vest in kind of any of the other matchups. Um, yeah, yep, yeah, this is this deck's gonna be good, and it, it does it does need like a little bit of tweaking still, you know, I need to, to keep playing it and stuff, but I feel like this, you know, this was like a, a deck that I maybe should have played for the seasonal tournament, and honestly, I, I, I like it though, I like playing the dragons, it's fun to play, um, I think I'm gonna kind of work on this deck and maybe bring it for the next seasonal tournament in a couple of weeks, or a couple of months. Um, of course, we'll have to see what happens to the metagame. Obviously, there's going to be a new expansion, and there'll be, um, you know, a balance patch updates and all that kind of stuff. So things can change, but I think I want to keep on working on this kind of deck. It's fun to play. All right, so that's Fiora Dragons. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.